Welcome to the Athletes Mic. This is where the athletes are heard and not seen. And today I'm joined with Josh Harrison. So for those who don't know you, you know, what do you do? Who are you? Yes, people. So my name is Josh Harrison, a uh, rugby player and a, content, a fitness content creator as well. Just uh, riding the vibe, bro, riding the wave. Okay. So in terms of rugby, you know, talk to me a bit about that. You know, where, where, where was your journey? Where did it begin? Where is it now? It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? So obviously started rugby when I was, what, six, seven? Um... Went to my first rugby club, Kiddie Carolians, and I was like, I don't like it, I don't want it. When I was seven, I came back and I just haven't stopped since. And it's like always something I wanted to do through from from that young age. I've always wanted to be a professional player in it. Um, I got to Worcester Warriors, like played until I was 18, and then I got injured. Uh, I tore my groin. Obviously, I broke my leg before that, but that that's nothing by. But like, yeah, tore my groin playing rugby. Like that was awful because then covid happened i couldn't get operations stuff like that but you end up bouncing back hard like if you want something as much as you should it's it's not a problem do you know what i mean and so obviously that happened um came back from covid got to hartbury obviously went to college there anyway but then i got injured again obviously just not just riddled of injuries mate and uh i was like i need to do something different while i'm while i'm injured or whatever so i've been out i was out for 20 weeks at the time um i did something to my ankle uh so yeah started playing was playing around the Instagram, social media, stuff like that. Uh, and then what, February? No, that was what, November? And then like February time, started to take it seriously. And then, sorry, yeah, so from February till till now, we've grown nearly 10K on Instagram. So yeah, we're on come on. 12K on TikTok, so it's, it's Smashing it. it. So when you got, so in terms of rugby, when you got injured, you know, obviously being at Hartbury, you would have had the treatment that I guess you could say professional. Oh, mate, it's world class in it, it's mad stuff. Okay, and so in terms of your mental your mental state how did the injuries affect affect that so i mean the mental the mental state with it wasn't the best cause obviously all i want to do is play I'm, I'm fed up with just sitting around like that's the problem like with Harbury, it's early mornings and like you'd go and watch the training at like four like five six in the morning and you'd be absolutely freezing and like the other boys are running around or whatever and i mean obviously there's bits bits in in with Harbury that we don't i don't want to talk about but like it is it is what it is isn't it like if you get injured it's just a difficult period yeah so I remember I obviously I've been at Hartbury as well in it and I to be fair even looking back at it I've never really taken the football side of it seriously I was always like in training for like three months and then like out of it for like two months and etc etc but the setup there is definitely good so in terms of the rugby that's kind of happened you've finished Hartbury now yeah. college etc yeah. so fitness yeah now so that's kind of your main thing at the moment yeah so that's I class it now as my job I got I get paid from it now so it's profession yeah. yeah okay it's the career i want to go into do you know what i mean however long it lasts however long social media is big for i'm hoping it's gonna be a while but um and where did that where did that stem from like what made you think ah, oh, i'm gonna record what i'm doing because a lot of people you know just go to the gym yeah. do their session and leave what made you think i'm gonna show people what i'm doing in the gym so it was a weird one so obviously we started um obviously in the november time when i got injured i was just on the first i was on facetime to my friend and uh he was just like, Josh, why don't you start an Instagram account just doing the fitness stuff? And I was like, you know what, bro, like, why not? So we started it. I think it was called like JH Fitness or something. JH Fitness 15. And uh, that's that's from where it started. Obviously, like I went into camp the next day at Hartbury and people are like, oh, what are you doing? Like, like Obviously, they laughed at it they start off with. Uh, but it's No just, one's laughing now, though, are they? But obviously, <laughs> you have to ride it. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you just go along with it. People always, they're always going to have opinions, but that's their opinion at the end of the day. So obviously, yeah, started with that. And then when it comes to filming, the one day, so obviously at home I've got a photographer. He'll come and he'll make my, my photos, some photos for me or whatever. And then the one day I was just like, you know what, I'm going to buy a tripod and I'm just going like, to film what I do. But I'm not just going to film the exercise and put it in a slide. I'm going to make a reel. Yeah. Um, post it on TikTok and it got like 35k views four days later after I posted it. And I was like, obviously four, like 35k views is now is nothing. But like at the time, it was going. Every time I was refreshing my phone, it was going up. My followers were going up. I was like, "This is absolutely mental." Like some people that were commenting on it, I was like, "This is crazy." Um, so yeah, literally from that day, I started doing them every day. And then like the best one I ever did, I think got like not that much, like 140k. That's what made me like, you know what? I'm gonna start doing this now because it's sick. I really enjoy it. Um, it is hard sometimes. So like, I feel like every time you see them on TikTok or whatever, I've always got a fresh trim. Got to make sure you're looking 10, 10. That's true. So initially you started posting on, on TikTok. Yeah. And then obviously now you're also on Instagram. Yeah. And obviously that was a brand new account when you started that, wasn't it? Yeah. So obviously I had a main account already. Um, and then I was obviously made this new one just because I wanted it to be separate. But that's um, good though, because obviously from when you started that to now, yeah. 
that is how many followers is that on now? With the fitness one. Yeah. Uh, so, well, I hit nine k last night. Congratulations. Thank you, mate. So Thank that's you. that's nine thousand authentic followers from in the space of what four six months. four months. Well, well, call it five. Call it five months. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, obviously, it's nowhere near where I want to be, and like potential wise, we're only just getting started. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, come on. But um, but yeah, we got some exciting things coming up soon as well. So, in terms of once you, what kind of opportunities have presented themselves to you since you've started your got you. your so content? Obviously, when I started filming at JD, they started to see my stuff. No one else was doing it really, so. I started posting, started taking photos in the JD gym, showing off how sick the actual place is. Uh, they ended up messaging me and they were like, look, Josh, we'll give you a free membership. Um, we'll, we'll sort you out with a free membership to any any gym, any JD gym in the country. Um, wherever you are, that's fine. Just We'll just give you these deliverables. So whenever you work with a company now, they'll always say, can we have these four or five deliverables a month to allow for us to then give you what? you want exactly. and what what as an example what would one of them for so they be? would be what like i think it's three three or four instagram story posts a month which is light work do you know what i mean you're posting and, daily aren't you and, I so. daily, and all my photos like my gym photos are in jd anyway so that's a free like, promo i'll literally say to him like the one time like i had a, I had a car accident what a month or two ago where it wasn't a bad one don't be wrong but like i couldn't drive it like i had to go to the garage to get fixed and i couldn't post for i think it was like two two weeks or whatever like at that at that gym and i said to him look i'm really sorry and they was like josh the amount of stuff you've given us already like on on their tiktok most of the tiktoks now a lot of them are of, of my stuff that i've made because they've got like workout videos just lifestyle videos all sorts it's if you get a balance on what you want to make and it's not just one thing you get you obviously attract more followers do you know what I, mean? I see it as like one big circle if i post one section of something that's all it's going to be. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to open up to more people. I guess you've got your target audience, whereas if you start changing it up, you yeah, allow well. yeah. the target audience yeah, to yeah. increase. Exactly. So then other opportunities, I've then worked with JD Sports, um, the actual brand themselves. I was going to say, I thought i seen that. Yeah, yeah. So they, then they post it as well on their account. And I was like, oh my God, like, I'm fanboying big time. Yeah. <laughs> so it's crazy, bro. Yeah. So they literally <laughs> sent me like a whole Adidas like clothing to wear, socks, trainers, shorts, t-shirts, everything. And I was just like, wow, this is crazy. Um, I've got I've got a, like a sponsorship with Slater's Menswear, which is obviously like a suit company. So I went to Manchester, um, went to Manchester, and then I had a photo shoot with them. I had to make the content and stuff. That was wicked. But that's on their TikTok as well. Um, and then I've signed with PhD now as well. So they're dropping the past off today with more, more stuff, man. Yeah, I was going to say, so I bet you're sick. gassed. Um, and then Castor got in touch with me, what, three or four days ago? Um, so there, obviously they sponsor like Wolves, Newcastle, and then like, like big time like Adam Peaty, uh, Owen Farrell, uh, Andy Murray. As well. Yeah, he's obviously got it at Wimbledon at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm getting stuff off them soon as well. Obviously with de- with the deliverables, I give back, just like I post the stuff. But so I get like um, like money each month to spend on their account, and then I can then I have it then to make the content. So obviously like it's closed, but I can make off that, and then obviously get like codes and stuff to give out to the followers, which they can use as well. So it's, it's helping each other. Do you know what I mean? This might sound like a silly question, but did you say you enjoy it? Enjoy what? Making your content, oh, mate, editing yeah, it. Uh, that's the most. That's one of my favorite things. So like, I'll go to the gym, I'll make it, and like I can do the video. I've been once. I've done a, a video once. It took me four hours because I wasn't happy with it at all. So I literally like delete the whole thing and I start it again but I don't care because I enjoy it so much like it's like after when you've got it all off my camera and I put it onto my phone from my laptop and I'm like this is sick I can like, like the editing bit is the funniest part do you know what I mean yeah. I love it mate so in terms of like moving forward yeah you know what what can you see yourself doing in the future with this and what are your kind of what are your goals got you. so obviously like with how things have progressed um I've got a coaching app coming out, which is mental. Like, I'm, I can't wait for that. Like next, next within the next month, it's gonna be it's gonna be dropping. So obviously, clients will be coming on board, stuff like that as well. Um, I'm gonna start my YouTube back up. Uh, so obviously, I've got three videos on there at the moment. Um, that's still JH Fitness, I want to say. Uh, yeah, I need probably need to change that, upgrade it because it's mad. My first what two videos got over a K on each one, and on YouTube that's not bad. Isn't no, it? that's not, that's especially not for a first video. Um, so there's obviously not an audience there, 
Um, and my subs, I think I've got, I don't know, 180, 190 subs. Um, so, yeah, it, I, need to, I need to grind on it 100%. But, um, so little steps though, isn't it? Yeah, you get yeah, the TikTok, yeah, get the Instagram, yeah, and then you can push it onto. Yeah, get, them all, get them all up. Um, but say so once I hit 10k on Instagram, I, well, my goal was from February. Obviously, I didn't expect it to grow that fast, but now my goal is to hit 10k before August. So I've got how what's the date today? I don't know. You got about four weeks, five yeah, weeks. You so could do that. I'm. I'll be real. Obviously, I look at your feeds on a daily yeah, basis. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And your it's just everything is just going. But again, I think one thing about your content which is different to other content that I come across is that it's it's valuable content in terms of I learn something. Do you know what I mean? Appreciate I'm seeing that. you doing different exercises, which multiple exercises I've seen on some of your videos, yeah. I've started doing myself. Yeah. And obviously, I mean, my gym stuff's going to the next level as well, yeah, isn't it? But, it big time. Yeah, man. But I think, yeah. And I think that's what's going to keep people coming back yeah. to watching your stuff because they're learning. It's not just like, I mean, look at TikTok. Yeah. Most of the stuff you see on TikTok is just a load of rubbish. Oh, that's what that's what's so annoying. Like people will post things where like the form is so off. But like, don't get me wrong, they're having a go, and that's you can't you can't discount someone for saying it. But then they'll they put themselves in the shop window to get hate because TikTok hate is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I posted a video, yeah, it was like I think it was five simple exercises for shoulders. It, I think it, it's on three three hundred certain k, bro. That blew up within two days. And it all because this is what's bad about the algorithm. It blew up because the hate that you get in the comments, and you go onto the people, you go onto their account, and they're literally like people who don't go to the gym. They don't get out. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not as nice as you can be. They don't go bro, out. They don't go out. They don't go out. <laughs> like, they're literally. Do you know what I mean? like, but how do you how do you deal with that then? Because I've seen multiple people on TikTok that turn around and say, "Oh, I'm taking a break because of the hate. Why are people like this? Why?" How do you deal with that? Just don't look at it. Do you think if you did look at it, you'd be like, nah, you'd be cool, or do you think me, it, it wouldn't bother you? I, I back myself enough. I back myself enough to know that it's right. Look, I, when I make a video on workouts, I won't just do it because I want to do it. Well, yeah, I will do it because I want to do it, but like, I'll put my research into it first. So I'll be like, why should you do a cable fly before you do a push pu a push movement? Is because when you're in the when you're in the concentric, it like shortens the length of it shortens the length of the muscle. You're working a shortened range of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, it helps more you fatigue the muscle before you then go and push so before you do a dumbbell press you know what i mean yeah like, there's there's reason behind it it's not i'm not just doing it because oh yeah that's the that's the this is what i do you should do it you should it's do got it actual reason behind it obviously a, a few of the people around us at the moment are kind of heavy on the on the gym thing yeah. and quite frequently i'm sure you're the same get asked i get asked quite a bit you know are you on steroids yeah and it's like no it's just consistency yeah. if you're consistent over a long period of time yeah. you will see serious gains yeah. whether that's that's anything that's gym yeah. whether that's work whether that's reading that's anything it's my that's my usp like i want to bring motivation workout everything just lifestyle be natural do you know what i mean like how far can you push yourself naturally like i'm trying to it's going to be interesting this this season so I'm going to try and push around 90, K, 90 kegs with, uh, I think it's 10% body fat, <laughs> heavy on the wing. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna find out how, how well we can deal with that. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, as a kid, I was always fast. So it'd be interesting to see how fast I am now. Don't get me wrong, if I have to cut down a little bit, is it going to, is it going to bother me that much? No, because I'll look more athletic anyway. Because... I'll have to lose a little bit of size, but it is what it is. Okay. What, did, what did you say to me earlier? You said that you got an app launching. Yeah. Is that for athletes? Is that for gym? Like, what's, what What does that cover? What so, does that look like? Obviously, on my Instagram, you'll see it in my bio. It's like giving boys confidence, like losing fat and building muscle. Um, anyone can go on the app. Obviously, like, you, you become a client of mine. I'm coaching you week in, week out. So... What's so good about the app is you'll fill it out. We'll, we'll have a chat, however. You'll get um, a questionnaire sent by myself. Uh, it will go through like how often you train, like what do you eat, like how often like like meals a day. Do you prefer big meals in the morning, in the afternoon, or dinner? Do you know what I mean? Um, it will fill it all out for you. I'll then get that back. We'll have a chat again, and then I will then make you a program that sits on nutrition, uh, workouts, what you want to do. So like, if you're just looking to lose lose weight altogether 
we can look at that. We can look at building muscle. Uh, I've got athlete programs on there for like explosiveness, speed, all sorts on there. Um, and then I, I've made one last night ready for when it launches. It's like just the ultimate bodybuilding. Yeah, that's good. I like that. So when does that launch? Do you, do you have a date or not yet? No, so there's not a complete date, but it will. It's, it's soon. It's, it's soon. The, within the next month or two. In the next month okay. or two. Well, I can't wait, mate. It's, so it's the app and the link will be in the bio. So yeah, and so obviously just to kind of wrap things up a little bit, if you could give a piece of advice to everyone or someone watching this, what would that advice be? So I personally for me, I feel if you've got a dream or a goal and you wanted and you want to do something in life, just go for it. Don't allow someone whose whose negativity is trying to put you down or you think, Oh, what are they gonna think about me or something like that. Just do it anyway. Like you've got to back in, in life I feel like you've got to back yourself. Like hundred percent. That motivation is what you should wanna strive for. And like if you keep going and going and going, a hundred percent you'll get there. Because I think yours that for you, with what you've got going on, this is just the beginning really, isn't oh, bro, it? We ain't even started yet. Yeah? We I started, love bro. that. <laughs> Decent. Well bro. Appreciate you coming on still. Yeah, it's been it's been it's been good to have a chat. Bless.